welcome to the class System Thinking. Today, I'm going to introduce Inspiration Design Toolkit. I'm Shang Hong Li, one of designer and team members for the toolkit. Today with me, we have Professor Ed Crawley, we have Dr. Beatrice, we have two talented system engineer experts, Michael and Derry. It's definitely the teamwork and we took a lot of time to discuss, to design, to think about what's the best learning experiences for you through the toolkit. Before I enter the, the content of the toolkit, I want to share with you the logo of the toolkit. As you can see, we have like three simple geometric shapes. Triangle stands for creativity, square stands for system because we have like function, sub-function, that type of icon, so we think square could be represent system. And last part, circle, could stand for thinking. You have like well-rounded thinking, holistic viewpoint, and three together is kind of like the essence, the spirit of the toolkit. Creativity, system, thinking. So an inspiration design toolkit it's a set of human-centered supporting material to enhance the overall online and offline learning experiences to make class participants fully engage with the community and content as well as enjoy the delightful journey with MIT X Pro. So that's kind of our uh, position for this toolkit. If we view this toolkit in the lens of three circles, the first circle is individual, which is more about you. How do we use this toolkit to encourage and empower you to explore new knowledge, also raise your curiosity through this toolkit? To not just craft your skill set, but also nurture the right mindset. The second layer is about course. It's more about MITx Pro. How do we use this toolkit to build better online and offline learning experiences for you? And the last layer, the last circle, it's about community. How do we use this toolkit to really cultivate and build created community for this course? So now let's look at the tension for this toolkit. This will help the team help us to better position the toolkit for you. So it's less about design ideas, it's more about curate the right concept. It's less about pre-work and post-work is really help you to document your learning process. And then we're not talking about like structure assignment. We're all more encouraged to have some inspiration materials. And it's not just about like close-ended question. We're more welcome to have like open-ended challenges because we always love to hear you bring different perspective and different thoughts for this class. And this toolkit is not for like a definition driven kind of process or thinking. It's more for interpretation and tension. We want to hear your thoughts, your viewpoints, your ideas for this toolkit. And then lastly, we're not thinking about like, like pre plan your journey. We really encourage you to think about how do you document your learning journey with us through this toolkit. So these are some tensions that we think about when we design the toolkit. If you view this class as a learning journey, we kind of break this class into like six steps. We really want to use is like before the worn out and also before transition to the next chapter to help you better understand the content of the class, also inspire you to think more beyond just the content of the class. If we put this toolkit in the two by two diagram, online versus offline, reflect learning versus creative making. We feel like the toolkit should be a bridge for online and offline and also kind of ties to reflect learning to make and create. So we do encourage you to print out the materials either in paper or like you, in your phone to kind of carry with you. So you can always use this as inspiration materials for you. So now let's look at the template, the format of the toolkit. On the screen, you see like two images. One is for the front side of the card. Another one is for the back side of the card. For the front side, 
you can see the upper section is for the main exploration visuals and accordingly there is a provocative question to kind of help you think, trigger to think more. On the back side there is a complementary visuals with some explanation text and then there is a key takeaway to kind of highlight the learning point for the chapter. Here I want to introduce like our uh, tools for learning we call reflection icon. The first icon we call observe. Use your mind to listen and to see. The second icon we call feel. Use your heart to understand and to feel. The third icon we call act. Use your hand to prototype and to make interesting stuff to validate your learning. The last one is we call information icon. It's a QR code. So once you scan the QR code, you could have direct access to your personal MIT Expro dashboard to have more interesting and relevant materials for you. So now let's look at our inspiration design toolkit. Basically, for each chapter, we have one car is to improve your learning experiences, also to inspire you. Lastly, I want to re-emphasize the purpose of the toolkit. We curate and design a set of human-centered inspiration design toolkit to empower and help students with rich industry working experiences from various backgrounds have an immersive and effective MIT Expro learning experiences. We really hope you love the toolkit and it can help you and empowers you to have better learning experiences with us. Thank you.